So, Mr Speaker, while Labor is prepared to support the passage of this bill, let me be clear about what we will not give this <coughs> government a leave pass on. That is spending $57 billion on a second-rate copper NBN. If you want the Oxford definition of incompetence and waste, look no further than the Liberals, this hapless Minister for Communications and their technological omelette known as the NBN multi-technology mix. Let's just do a quick go of the litany of failures. Over budget. The Liberals, with great fanfare, standing alongside a hologram of Sonny Bill Williams, promised they would deliver the NBN for $29.5 billion. It now costs $57 billion, nearly $30 billion over budget. Then we have copper failing to deliver minimum speeds. The Liberals promised every Australian would have access to minimum speeds of 25 megabits per second by 2016. We are now in the year 2021, five years on, and these minimum speeds are still not being delivered over the copper NBN network. According to reports, up to 238 1,000 households still cannot access minimum speeds, which are actually a requirement of both Australian law and the NBN Statement of Expectations. Then we have the fact that they have purchased enough copper to wrap around the planet Earth. This Liberal Party, the same Liberal Party who are on track to amass a trillion dollars in debt, has used taxpayers' money to purchase over 49,000 kilometres of new copper for the NBN. That is enough copper to wrap around the planet Earth and then some. And I've even heard they maxed out the copper supply in Australia and they had to start importing copper from Turkey and Brazil. If you are a global copper trader, the Morrison government is your best friend. And then we have the HFC mess. Who can forget when Malcolm Turnbull and now Minister Fletcher said that the HFC technology would be the great game changer? Mr Speaker, it most certainly did change the game, but for all the <coughs> wrong reasons. Never has the rollout of network technology in Australia been such an utter shambles. The NBN HFC rollout is the most uneconomical and arguably the most unreliable in the entire world. There is a good reason why the former NBN co-CEO Bill Morrow wanted to toss the entire HFC footprint in the bin. And there's a good reason Mike Quigley and his management team also rejected the use of HFC when Labor was in government. And after talking it up as the best thing since sliced bread, the Liberals had to scrap the Optus HFC network because it was not fit for purpose. A total humiliation. Then they had to pause the rollout of the remaining HFC network some years later because the technology was so unreliable. Turning on your vacuum cleaner was enough to cause the internet to drop out. And just this week, we found out NBN Co will pause activations on the HFC network because they've run out of chips for their modems. What a mess. No wonder Lawntill, a Tasmanian ISP, wrote a blog last week referring to the HFC as a dog's breakfast and singling it out as the most unreliable technology on the NBN network. And this brings me to the performance of the NBN during lightning storms. We've been getting reports from the Blue Mountains and the Hawkesbury regions, parts of Greater Sydney and Outer Melbourne, that fibre to the curb modems on the NBM have literally been getting fried during lightning storms, with some households requiring up to six modem replacements, with technicians having to visit their premises each time. There has been an unacceptable lack of transparency on this issue. But from what we understand, lightning is causing a voltage surge down the copper line and into the modem. The Liberals, Mr Speaker, had one job, to not stuff up fibre to the curb, just like they stuffed up everything else. This entails ensuring the electronics and vendor equipment used to deliver the service were actually fit for purpose and had adequate surge protections. If storms are capable of blowing up six consecutive NBN, mod NBN modems, then something isn't right. So to sum all this up, Mr Speaker, We've got a copper network that is so defunct it still can't deliver minimum speeds as required by law. We have a HFC network that is arguably <coughs> one of the biggest and most expensive telecommunications debacles in the entire history of the world. We have modems blowing up because of lightning surges down copper leading cables. Do it once, do it right and do it with fibre. And had the Liberals simply followed this path, Australians would have a faster and more reliable network at far less cost to the taxpayer. So it's little wonder we have a dud NBN today whose cost is now forecast to reach 
$57 billion, that's $30 billion over budget, and whose rollout is running more than four years behind schedule. Mr Speaker, it is no wonder that the Liberals now find themselves backflipping on copper towards the original fibre to the premises plan. It only took them seven years, $50 billion and a worldwide health pandemic to realise that fast and reliable internet might actually be a good thing.